College of Eastern Idaho students, fa faculty, staff, and the community, welcome to our show, Falcon Features with Lori and Mike, Mike and Lori. We're happy to have you here today. We are so glad to be here. Glad to see you, Mike, today. Glad we're here together. Likewise, happy to see you. Uh, this is my wonderful co-host, Vice President Lori Barber, and I am, as always, Dean Mike Walker. So today is going to be a great day. It's going to be a really short show today. We don't have a guest. We do have a conversation with a guest today, but we don't have a special guest like we normally have. We've had this person on in the past, but we'll have Shelby Warren on in a few minutes to talk with us about our plans for graduation. So and that is kind of what we're going to do. And then today, Lori has, as always, our wonderful quote. Okay. So our quote of the day comes from Oprah Winfrey. She writes, quote, everybody has a calling and your real job in life is to figure out as soon as possible what that is, who you were meant to be and begin to honor that in the best way possible for yourself, end quote. So this is a really important thing for us all to figure out. So in this world today, we need everybody doing what it is they're meant to do. There's so much work to do in making the world a brighter place for everyone. And when you're doing what you're supposed to do and my, you're doing what you're supposed to do and I'm doing what I'm supposed to do, we all begin to alter our little corner of the world in big and beautiful ways. Um, and that's the way we really begin to do our part to change the larger world is when we're doing our little part in our little corner of the world. So Mike, that is my quote and my little bit today. Well, I love that, Lori. You know, it, it's so important for us to be focused and to be able to do things that we're passionate about, that we believe in. I, I completely agree with that quote. I think that's a good message for our student body today. Well, I've got some updates. I got a couple that I didn't make, that didn't make it to the agenda, but I wanted to still cover and are, are pretty important. Um, first of all, la um, on Saturday, we had a great disc golf tournament. Um, it was the King of Campus tournament and it was a huge success. One of the closest to the pins uh, that were from, thrown from hole one actually landed in the pin. Whoa. So got an ace on that challenge and won, won a prize, a cash gift card. So that was kind of cool. So anyway, that was a good thing. Thanks to Lee Stimson and all of our volunteers and all of the participants in the community who came out and some of our students. So it was a, it was a great tournament and um, congratulations to those who won and who participated. We also had the, take, uh, the drug take back day in our parking lot on Saturday as well. And they collected over 350 pawns of prescription meds um, so that those wouldn't be wasted inappropriately or flushed down toilets and contaminating water supply or other inappropriate ways to dispose of your, your uh, you know, unused drugs, prescription drugs especially. So um, we had that drug pack take back day here at our campus on Saturday, and that was a really important thing. And then the last update I want to share is the normal COVID updates. I decided not to give it to Lori this time, even though she Thanks, said that. Uh, just a reminder, you know, we are every, we are coming close to hopefully the end of this thing. But for now, you know, you can find all of our COVID information on our website that's listed there below, as well as you can send any updates to COVID at CEI.edu. And remember, wear your masks, wash your hands, um, stay six feet apart, do all the regular things that you've been doing for the last year. And hopefully soon the masks will be gone and hopefully soon everything will go back to normal. For right now, we're still following those, those we are. protocols, but we hope for the future. And remember to get vaccinated if you haven't. I'm fully vaccinated. Me too. Woohoo! So it's a good thing. So and Mike and I got way. two different kinds. I got the Johnson & Johnson and you got the... I got the Moderna. Yeah. Moderna. Okay, so the two, so. So actually, I'm not fully vaccinated because it, uh, you, it's two weeks after the second shot. <clears throat> Excuse me. So it will be one more week and then I'll be considered fully vaccinated. But I've had my second Moderna shot and you can do that at 2330 DeSoto Street. So anyone 16 and over can go and get their vaccination, either Moderna or Pfizer over there, or you can get the Johnson & Johnson if that's re been restarted. It has. They, yeah, in, uh, they took a pause on that one just to do a little bit of um, they needed to look into a few things. It's great. I've had, I'm I'm three weeks out now from the Johnson. So you're Johnson. fully vaccinated. I am fully vaccinated and I had no issues at all with what they were talking about with the J and J. So and it's back back on the market again. So they yep, you get those at the wall, local WalMarts, I believe. Yeah. Yep, that's where I got mine. So 
anyway, I am fully vaccinated. We are so excited. Also, um, something to be to, to remember, don't come on campus if you're sick. If you have a fever, if you have a cough, if you have a runny nose, if you're feeling achy, just stay home um, because we're not out of the woods yet. So we want to keep that yep. going. All right. Well, if you have any questions, one one quick thing. If you have any yeah. questions, remember, you can always email COVID at CEI.edu. And that is correct for any questions from students for COVID or employees. Yep. All right. So moving on, I have some financial aid updates. And Mike, thanks for taking the COVID updates today. That was nice giving me a break. <laughs> I appreciate it. All right. So financial aid updates. So FAFSA is open for fall 2021 and for spring 2022. Um, you complete it now. You can complete it now, so you'll be ready to go for fall 2021. It's also not too late to complete the FAFSA for summer 2021, and you're going to be using your 2018 income to fill that out. Um, you can fill out the CEI summer application form once you've registered for summer classes to see your financial aid remaining eligibility. Uh, summer fees are due May 7th. And then the last day to add or drop summer classes, it will be on June 11th. Um, withdrawing from a, a class or a few classes can affect your satisfactory academic progress. So be sure to check with financial aid before you drop classes to see how that will be affected. Withdrawing from all classes will cause a payback to your financial aid. Please contact the FA office to discuss your options of potential payback. Uh, scholarship information you can get at by uh, you can get by calling 535-5616, or you can go to the financial aid or uh, foundation office. I'm having some trouble with words, and it just gets more. C R S S C R R S A A Harif, versus Hersa, <laughs> Herf, two funding has been awarded to students. So some of those government funds, you don't need to know the acronyms, but they're COVID related and they have been awarded. Emails were sent last week. Funds will be distributed, um, dispersed this week. Please watch your email for notifications from the business office when those funds will be available and they will be direct deposited if you've already signed up for that. Additional emergency funds are um, from the CRRSAA or CURSA uh, will be available uh, to apply for per application. And again, email notifications will go out next week. So you don't need to know what the acronyms are, but you do need to check your email. Make sure you're checking your email every single day, at least once a day. All right, so just a reminder that the uh, Falcon Food Pantry will be open from 12.30 to 1.30. If you're in need of any to-go food items um, or food items for your home or family or household and hygiene items, uh, please stop by today. In addition, we've received a generous donation of frozen hamburger available in one pound packages. We'll have this available today as well. The Falcon Food Pantry is in building five, room 528. It's just inside entrance number two on the southeast side of building five. Um, as always, if this time is not convenient for you, but you'd like to visit the pantry, you can call the Center for New Directions at 208-535-5363 or you can stop by building five, room 591, and we'd be happy to make an appointment that will work for you. So those are all of our updates, not very long. Um, we're excited that we've got another kind of a longer update. We wanted to take some time to, to, do, uh, to, to talk about graduation. And then of course, if there are any questions about graduation, you can put them in the chat and we'll answer those as well if any questions come up. But we have our wonderful associate registrar, Shelby Warren here to discuss a little bit about what's happening with graduation this 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 year because of the changes. Um, it will be the only year that it looks exactly like this. Uh, and then, um, and, and go forward. So yeah, crossing our fingers, we're, we're pretty sure. Well, I hope, but anyway, um, so let's talk with Shelby. Welcome, Shelby. Hi, Shelby. Hello, thank you for having me here today. So I have been asked to come on to the show to talk about graduation, as Mike mentioned. So just to begin, May 11th is when we are going to be having our live in-person commencement. And so for everyone who RSVP'd to me to attend that, we'll be receiving an invitation via their CEI email with information regarding that. So there will be the times that you'll need to be there, when you'll need to arrive. And as just a reminder, due to the COVID restrictions, guests are not permitted to attend. And that will be reiterated through this email as well. And on May 13th, we will have our virtual commencement. And that is where we'll display the live commencement so family and friends can view that. And we'll have 
some speeches and remarks from our um, administration and it's going to be a really wonderful commencement and if you have any questions regarding it please email me or call me or anyone in the registrar's office we're happy to help you but i will be sending out those invitations either today or tomorrow so check your emails and that's a reminder that's in the evening and again we're not we're not telling the time right now just because each each, each individual has a different time on may 11th but the virtual commencement will be at 7 p.m on the 13th and that will like shelby said that will be a rebroadcast and you'll be hosting that right mike that'll be that's you'll correct be live hosting that with um i'm sorry uh with Anna Lee larson our yeah, student, body, our, president. Yeah, our student yep. body president so mm -hmm. that's fabulous and it's going to be a really great broadcast and we know it's not the same as as our usual big celebration but we just have to get through one more, we believe, um, kind of altered graduation. And then hopefully a year from now, we will be back to um, our big celebration at the Civic like we always do. Yes. I want to highlight there will be a couple of speakers. Um, our keynote is Mark Peters, who's the Executive Vice President for Laboratory Oper Operations at B M Battelle Memorial Institute. So he used to be the director of the lab at Idaho National Laboratory and then was promoted to be over five national labs in his current role. So our Mark uh, Peters will be our keynote speaker. Um, we will also have speeches from Rick Amon, vice, uh, our president, our college president, um, uh, the uh, Idaho State Board past president, Linda Clark, and our, our wonderful, illustrious vice president, Lori Barber, and our student senate president, Annalie Larson. I'll share a couple of words, but I won't do a, a speech. Um, and then we will have, as Shelby mentioned, a recording of the live commencement that we that we do on May 11th so that family can watch that as well. And we'll also be displaying the PowerPoint with all of you, the individual students' accomplishments. So that will happen across the screen at the same time as the live commencement uh, or, or as it rebroadcasts. But I will be hosting that event live, as Lori mentioned. Yeah. So we are that, very, go ahead, Shelby. Oh, sorry, Lori. No. And that PowerPoint is going to display the students, but only the students who RSVP'd and contacted the registrar's office if they wanted to be included in it. That's correct. So, um, so that's just kind of the summary for students. If there's any questions, Shelby mentioned, you know, you can ask her. You can send an email. What's the best email you would recommend people sending? I know that we have a couple of generic emails as well as your direct email. You can send it either to my direct email, so shelby.warren at CEI, or you can send it to the assistant registrar email that goes to everyone in the registrar's office, and that's assistant.registrar at CEI. Wonderful. Okay, well, um, let's just briefly see. We don't have a ton of viewers today, but maybe in the chat we will later. Um, Let's see if, if anybody, are there any questions about graduation from the student body or from anyone watching? Well, and while we're waiting to see if some of those questions come in, uh, Mike, I think we should give some updates about Facebook Live and about our changing schedule going into summer. Oh, thank you. So, yeah, so going into summer, um, we are going to be doing a Facebook Live the first Monday of every month. So we'll do a starting next week. That, that will be when we kick that off. So we'll do the first Monday of May. We'll have a Facebook Live the first Monday of June, first Monday of July, first Monday of August. Um, those that will, We're just going to do a limited, more limited uh, broadcast. Okay, we have a question from Dan Bruderer for Shelby. Is it too late to RSVP to attend on the 11th? So if students still want to participate in the live commencement, the portion on the 11th, they can still RSVP to me. However, that's the only component they'll be able to be included in, but um, they need to ensure they have regalia. So if they do not have regalia, unfortunately, it's too late to order them. So if you don't, then you won't be able to participate. But if you do, please let me know so I can put you on the list. Great, great question. Thanks, Dan. Thank you, Shelby. So, and then we, the, the fall, for fall Facebook Live, we will be revisiting about what that, what the frequency of those Facebook Lives will look like starting in fall. But for summer, we do know we will be doing it once a month, first Monday of each month for May, June, July, and August. 
Thank you, Lori. I'm very, I'm very excited. Yeah. About that. Yeah. And next Monday, we will have uh, Anne Marie Peters as our guest. She's our director of strategic partnerships, and she's going to be talking uh, with the with the student community about some exciting initiatives that we have going on. So. Um, you guys will want to tune in for that. It's going to be a really good show. Yep, there'll be a little bit of a walking tour portion as well. So I'm very excited about that. So, and Shelby and I are going to test it to make sure that we can do it very easily. So we're, we're really excited about that as well. Well, any other questions for Shelby or for uh, about graduation from anyone? If not, go ahead and feel free to put those questions in the comments and we will address them as we always do. Or you can, again, directly email Shelby, that's S-H-E-L-B-E-Y dot Warren, W-A-R-R-E-N, at C-E-I dot E-D-U, or is it's associate dot registrar at C-E-I dot E-D-U, correct? It's assistant. Oh, assistant dot registrar at C-E-I dot E-D-U. Yes. Either one of those are great. Or as always, you can always email any question to student.concern at cei.edu and they will get forwarded to the appropriate person. Well, thank you. So thank you for this short uh, Facebook Live we have today. Um, if there's, I see no other questions coming in and we've kind of waited a little bit. So thank you for taking the time. And if you have any more questions, you know where to go. Thanks, Shelby. Thanks, Mike. Thank, thank you. you. Bye, everyone. Bye.